Hey everybody, it's Mike from Orderflows, and I'm creating this follow-up video to the markers and flow breaks training that we did on on Monday. And the reason I'm doing this is because you know people have been asking me, you know, how do I you know, show me the steps, what I got to go through on setting up flows breaks with markers. Now this is specific to the flow breaks indicator. Um, you know, again, you need markers and you need flow breaks for this to work. These are add-on indicators, add-on tools. For Ninja Trader 8. Um, I also suggest I have created a PDF of uh, this guide that I'm going to go through. I'm going to also show you in real time how easy it is to set it up on the Ninja Trader. So if you want to download this guys, just go to flowbreaks.com slash markers slash setup markers and flowbreaks.pdf. It's the same PDF that I'm going through, but then I'm going to go through a live example just to show you how easy it is. So there's a few things you need to do. First, obviously, you got to open up a bar chart. Then you're going to add the following. Um, you know, I didn't write on there add flows breaks, but that's, you know, you, you should. Um, then you're going to add markers plus the force. And you're going to add two instances of markers copy, you know, one for the buys, one for the sells. And also on your chart, go to the properties, open up the uh, chart trader, make sure you have that enabled because it's just easier to manage some of the things from within the chart trader, especially when you're trading. Um, now, sort of one of the differences between flows breaks and some of my other indicators is with flow breaks, I don't use the fast signal mode. Okay, instead I just use markers copy to copy the long signals and short signals generated by flow breaks. So once you have your chart open, you know, pull up the indicator list and you're going to add flow breaks Then you're going to add markers, the force. And again, two instances of markers, uh, copy, right? One for the longs, one for the shorts. Okay. So once you have all this, make sure it appears down here under configured, right? It needs to be there. So, you know, it's added to your chart. Now we're going to go through some of the settings that you're going to need to adjust. So first is the account. Set up your trading account. Now, if, you know, the first time you load it up, it may say SIM or it may say playback. Um, you know, just click in here and find your account. If you don't see it in there, go to the chart trader and choose your account from the drop down. Then it'll appear in there. Same thing with the ATM. You might not have an ATM chosen already in the chart trader. That's why I go to chart trader and choose your ATM then it should appear in here as a choice. Now, this one that says day, this is the type of order, right? You know, default is GTC. Um, you can keep it at GTC or you change it to day. I, I just find day a little bit easier to manage. Um, then the next one, you don't have to worry about trade size unless you're trading more than one lot. Uh, working mode, I changed it to auto. So it'll take automatically the buys and the sells as well as work the stops and take profits. Enable longs, enable shorts, make sure there's a checkbox there. I'm not using fast signal mode, so I'll leave that unchecked. Now here, six, seven, eight, nine, this is what you're copying, right? You're copying the triangle up for long signals. You're copying triangle down for short signals. Um, the signal color for longs is blue. The signal color for shorts is dark red. Now the entry, how am I going to get into the market for longs? And we get in at the market. For shorts, I'm going to get in at the market, All right? You have some choices in there like stop or limit. I just keep it at, I just change it to market to get in at the market. Now, max daily profit, the default is 500. Same with max daily loss is minus 500. Depending on the market you're trading, 500 might be too tight for you. And depending on your stops, uh, I change it to 5,000. You could change it to 1,000 if you want. But again, it also depends on your account, uh, how big it is. If you're trading micros, you know, maybe 500 is, is plenty. But if you're trading normal size contracts, 500 might not be um, enough for you. And, and you know, depending on what your stop is, if your stop is 500, you know, or $400, you're probably not going to want to use that. Um, so it's safe to, to sort of expand it. Now, this is the second part. When you scroll down the side here, there's more settings in here. I don't use these settings. You don't have to change those. So you can just keep them as it is. Okay, so now let's move on to adding the copies, what you're going to be copying. All right, so there's basically four steps in here. The new marketer's variable name will be longs, right? Because we're copying the longs. So it, you should change that to longs. The data series, you're going to click in here and then you're going to add the flow breaks indicator. I'm going to show you that in a second. Number three, calculate, change it from on bar close to on each tick. Number four, I like to keep the plots the same. So it's going to be blue 
solid triangle up and eight now these are the same type of plots for the buy and sell signals on flow breaks i just prefer to keep it the same so this part right here this is very important the data series okay so what you have to do is you have to add the flow break indicator so what you're going to do uh, when you click on this it's going to pull up a box that's going to let you choose inside you know the indicator right so you have to add the indicator in here okay make sure however you use the indicator in your trading make sure those settings are exactly the same all right if you have it different then it's going to be you can get different signals okay sounds like simple but sometimes you know that that's a simple step that people forget a lot right so however you trade it make sure the signals are the same the settings are the same rather so this one is for the buys so it's really it's going to be copying this blue triangle up here right and then you're going to do the same thing for the cells okay so change the name to shorts you're going to add the flow breaks indicator again so you got to do the same step you got to click inside this box and change it then you can calculate on each tick okay and lastly change the plots dark red solid triangle down eight okay again the, you have to go inside that step you got to do that one step right let's just go back here under data series right got to click in there so it pulls up the box that you can open up the indicators um, and choose flow breaks and add it in here this time it's going to be looking for this dark red signal okay so the first one on the buys was looking for the blue the dark red on the cells okay so you know just a, a couple last minute things um, which i'll show you in a second is you know make sure you have the correct atm for your market is selected make sure it's on auto mode and make sure the correct account is showing um, just a couple of little things is since flows breaks does not use tick replay and order flow trader 3.0 does what you can do is run markers with flow breaks on a normal bar chart then open a footprint chart on the order flows trader 3.0 and manage the trades from the footprint chart now you don't have to keep the bar chart maximized right you can shrink the size but you do have to keep it open though you can't close it right i, I don't suggest minimizing it i haven't tried it with it minimized um, but i just keep it open and i just make it smaller um, so you can change the size again some examples are on the next two pages so for example right i have my this one is running the marker so the signals will appear here but since it's wheat it will also appear on the footprint chart and i can manage the trade from there now again i have you know this is basically like i got a 27 inch monitor i just have it split in half in the sense i keep one here and one here um you could even make it smaller like this because you don't need to see all that back history you know but if you're watching the footprint you want a little bit more space so you know those are some of the choices that you can use all right so um you know what i want to do now okay is again you know take you through the steps on trading it with uh, setting it up rather with ninja trader all right so let's just go through it here so i got my ninja trader right open up here right so here now chart trader is open if you don't know how to open up chart trader click on the screen Control t properties it's this one right here right off chart trader chart trader hidden i prefer to keep it on because then you know you could manage your atms from within here you could change them you can create new ones etc you have access to changing your account etc now in this case i've already got um the marker is running on here so you know let me just disable this and well i'll just turn it off completely i'll just start from a brand new screen um do a wheat let's do a 100 tick chart i'll use my white screen i like white some people do some people don't you do not need to enable tick replay so you could leave that unchecked okay then here we go so i got my blank screen so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to add the indicators. All right, first I'm going to do the flow breaks, add that. Then I'm going to go to indicator store. I'm going to add markers plus the force, markers copy, one for buys, one for sells. Okay, so you see I got flows breaks, got markers plus the force, I got markers copy, got markers copy. Okay, so I got to change these settings. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, all right, is go here. Um, so I'll change that to the right account, the ATM 
okay so you see it doesn't let me choose the ATM yet I will come back to that in a minute again you can change that today trade size one now working mode I'm gonna change to auto <clears throat> so basically it will take the buys and the sells for me and enable longs and enable downs now I don't use arrow up or arrow down with flow breaks right it uses triangles so I need to go in here so for longs it's going to be triangle up for cells it's going to be triangle down now I know it's blue is the signal for flows breaks and for buys and for cells it's dark red okay so market market keep those as market again there's there's other choices in there but I just keep it at market um, in here again I change it again you could make 5,000 if you want if your account's big enough if you, know, if you can only get risk a thousand for the day this is a max daily profit and loss where it will turn off stop trading if you hit your max profit your daily nut um, or your which we call it um, your, your max stop loss show p l again you know it, it'll be up here in the corner if you want to see it I keep it on now next thing we're gonna do is go to the next step right setting up markers copy right because you want to set the buys and the sell so default here you need to change this one from my line change it to longs right because I'm looking for longs on bar close to change to on each tick I'll change the plots really quick since I'm here um, change that to triangle up and eight now this is the important step here input series just because it says ZW here you still got to add the indicator to that ZW eat so at first it comes up it looks like this go click on this folder it says indicators this pulls up all your ninja trader indicators click on order flows folder find the flow breaks indicator this is the default settings in this case um, this is how I use it is the default settings click OK okay so now it says flow breaks version 1.0 that's what I want to see now the next one I'm going to do I got to do the cells all right so short from change that to um, shorts right because first one is longs did I make it long or longs that's long two should I say longs okay so longs and shorts uh, just get something to drink here real quick uh, okay so where am I all right so since this is the shorts right it's dark red it's going to be triangle down change that to eight okay eight triangle down now again the important one most important one data series okay so I got to go in here open that up click in here find the indicator flow breaks okay make sure it's added click OK again don't forget to change calculate on each tick that's important every step is important you leave one out something's not going to work properly okay and there we go it's set up so open up the chart trader control T or scroll there um, chart trader make sure it's turned on okay click apply all right so here's my chart trader so you can see up here right earlier it didn't let me uh, choose the ATM all right in here it's because before I didn't have the chart trader open so wheat all right that's my chart trader so click on the chart up here where it says select valid ATM change it so now it says wheat that matches my ATM make sure the account up here says the same as what it says over here make sure that says auto okay so now when we run the playback you'll see it should start uh, it's all set up so that's it you know it doesn't take very long now again you could keep it open you know if you got multiple screens great you could put one footprint on not if, if you use the footprint or not um, it's up to you so you see it's been trading it took its first trade I like I am a footprint trader I read the order flow I like to analyze what's happening in the order flow or to get in or sorry not to uh, whether to stay in the trade or to get out of the trade a little bit early that's all up to you if you don't use the footprint then you don't even need to open it up but you know the the, the thing is right the order flows trader uses the tick replay whereas the flows breaks does not use the tick replay so by automating it on a chart that's set up for flows breaks 
then it just makes it a bit easier to deal with, right? Because people, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do it. Well, this is how you do it. Okay, so it's, you know, really very simple. And then, you know, I have this on pause right now, so let's just keep running. Right, so, you know, if I'm managing the trade, you know, I come back up to the break even, depending on what I'm seeing here in the order flow, I might want to get out, right? So it really depends on how you trade. If you just want to run it without using um, the footprint, then that's fine. You just keep this screen open the whole time, right? But if you're using a footprint chart, if you're using my order flows trader software, which is a different tool than the flow breaks indicator, um, this is how you can do it. Okay, so you know it's it's really pretty simple, All right? It didn't you saw it didn't really take very long to set it up. So you know once you get used to setting it up a few times, you know it's just sort of go through the process and and you know it, it really becomes um, you know very simple to do, very fast, and that's it. So and again, I hope you enjoyed this video. But again, go to the download link that I, I put up earlier to download this guide that I put together for you. Okay, so you see there, right? It got out of the trade. And then there's another entry that it got short on, you know, based over here. Okay, so it took profit. Then it got short again because there was a short signal. Um, generated just after that so you can see that the PL is up here so anyway guys thanks for watching this video and i hope this clears up some of your questions that you had on how to set up markers and the flow breaks indicator so thanks and bye bye